What a disaster. That's quite proof by the looks of it. Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel If you are new here then thank you so much for tuning in As you've just seen, I've made my breakfast Sometimes, mm, sliding all over um, Sometimes I just really crave, and it's not very often but sometimes I just crave like a salty hard boiled egg. <laughs> so that's what I've got for my breakfast. Two salty hard boiled eggs and a banana. Today I thought I'd just film my day, do a little day in the life. I say, do you know, it's so funny the phrase day in the life makes it seem as if the stuff that I do is like a daily occurrence, but what I'm doing today isn't even a daily occurrence. It's just something that I'm doing. So it's not like a day in the life, it's just like an extraordinary day in my life. I don't know if that even makes sense, but <laughs> Never mind. So I'm gonna have my hard boiled egg for my breakfast. Um, I've got some editing to do this morning and then this afternoon is actually something really, really fun. I am taking my dad and we're going go-karting. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that later, but for now, I'm gonna crack on with some editing. I'm just heading to Aldi now because I need to pick up a couple of bits. I'm planning on making a lasagna for tonight's tea and also just to have us like some spares because I really, really like lasagna. I don't make, I don't feel like I make it enough, but I really, really like lasagna when I make it. Um, and you've got an easy four portions. So you can have, well, my boyfriend's coming over later, so we'll probably have half of it tonight, like a quarter each. And then and then there's another two portions there to have at a later date. So I'm going to make a lasagna. I'm also just going to pick up some extra little bits just to kind of restock. now i've just done like a little bit of a top-up shop i seem to be in like a really weird rut with my food shopping where i'm not going like once a week like i used to i seem to be going like two or three times a week and just like getting little bits for like meals that i want and stuff so or i don't know if that is collectively adding up to more possibly <laughs> but then aldi never does like special offers or reduces their prices so even if I got it all on one day or on three separate days, it's always going to cost the same. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I picked up this time. I got some more of these cappuccinos. These are my absolute favourite. I was having a little bit of a panic because one of the Aldi's near me didn't have it in for like a week. Um, so the last couple of times that I've been, they haven't had it in. And I was thinking, oh my God, they're stopping them. But yeah, I picked up two boxes of that. Um, this time I got some of the chicken chipolatas haven't had these in a little while so i thought i'd just pick some more up uh some mushrooms some of the uh 45 reduced fat sausages some more cheese a couple of tins of chopped tomatoes some more squash um i also got some more of these protein puddings which i don't feel like i've had properly in a while so i got three of the chocolate and two of the vanilla ones um and then these mousses so i usually get the chocolate one i tried the lemon one but i wasn't really a fan of it but i've just noticed they've got a vanilla one and a strawberry one so i'm going to try both of them and i'll let you know what they're like and i've just got some lean beef mints just two packets of that and some chicken thighs and then i've also picked up some listerine and two 
cans of deodorant just in case you're interested in that um but yeah that is my food shop so i'll just pop all this lot away okay so now i've got my stuff away i'm just, I'm just gonna be making my lasagna for later on um i've got all the ingredients out for what i'm gonna be using yeah i'll leave a link in the description for a recipe that i kind of loosely follow um life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even Okay, I've had a bit of a disaster I've turned the oven off <laughs> um, I've made like the, like the actual lasagna contents Is that the word? I don't know I've made like the mince and the tomato bit um, when I went to make the white sauce, I don't know why, I think, because I'm using oat milk, I don't know if that makes any difference whatsoever, it just went really, really lumpy, and, like, the, um, the cream cheese just wasn't dissolving, the corn flour just, like, turned into a big lump, and I did literally nothing different except for use oat milk instead of, like, dairy milk, so, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover up the, um, like, the mince mixture and I'm going to get some milk later on, I think, and then just make it again later. <laughs> what a disaster. Okay, so I actually received a parcel from Rideaware yesterday and I haven't tried anything on yet. Um, I got some stuff in their sale. So it's basically gym wear. I was watching, I think, Demi's. Yeah, it was Demi's video and a few people suggested Rideaware as um, like a reputable gym wear place and she also texted me saying that she's going to try and order from there. So I actually ordered from their sale. The only thing with their sale items is that they're non-returnable, which I don't know how I feel about. Am I wrong in thinking that there's something, some contradiction with consumer law there? Surely you must be able to return stuff if it doesn't fit, especially if it's an online outlet. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to try it on, see how it goes, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so the first lot, or well, the first one is these brown ones, which I actually quite like, actually. I feel like they're very high-waisted, which is what I really like about them. They were a bit of a task to get on, though, not going to lie. Um, but they they feel nice and, like, I don't know, like I could just move in them kind of thing. <laughs> they're squat-proof by the looks of it. Let me just check in the mirror. Yeah, squat proof. I think I'll, I mean, not that I have a choice, but I will be keeping these. Um, I decided to go for like a brown because I've got like a, um, like a cream shirt that I think would look nice with it. Like a creamy brown kind of top that I think would look nice with it. So um, yeah, like them. Okay, the next ones I'm not really sure on. I don't know what it is about shorts, but I just don't feel like my legs suit them, especially like this length. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about them? I feel like I want to be one of those people, especially in the summer, who can wear shorts to the gym, but I just don't think my legs look right in this. I don't know. I mean, granted, they're like, they're squat proof and stuff, but I don't know. Hmm. Let me try and style them a bit, because I feel like people pull them up. Oh, that looks even worse. <laughs> Yeah, these ones are a no for me, which is a little annoying because I can't actually return these. Um, so I think they might be going on vintage. Well, I'm going to have it. Do you know what it is? I'm actually going to have a look and see whether they can enforce that no return rule. Because I feel like you should be able to return stuff. Especially if you don't like it or it doesn't fit. So I bought it online. I can't exactly try it on. So, yeah. These are a no. Okay, these last ones... I love these. I absolutely love these. These are like the waffle 
pattern they're like soft but like firm at the same time they're like soft but firm at the same time they're nice and like high-waisted and <laughs> whose ass is that whose bum is that can it can we get a little close-up hang on i'm sorry can you even see that whose bum is that <laughs> it's definitely not mine jesus yeah these are a thumbs up 100 percent. love these okay so i'm actually really excited because i am about to head to an event that i've been invited to so kindly they are sponsoring this section of the video also i'm taking my dad with me so they are called team sport in newcastle and they're based on scottswood road and we're going to be going and trying out their brand new interactive track and i'm excited because we're going to be one of the first people going so it should be quite good it's a interactive track all the vehicles are actually electric as well and you go around and it's an interactive track so you've got like projections on the floor i think of um of like things to collect and things to avoid and like you can virtually throw things at your opponent opponents as well so it sounds a little bit like mario kart i'm actually really looking forward to this so let's go and see what it's all about <laughs> So we went on like the interactive one first and then they let us go on like the ones that go up to 40 miles an hour which was so fun and um, they've got on a little buffet and stuff now so i think we're just gonna go and have some food um, and enjoy the rest of the event <laughs> actually outside a little now because i'm gonna get some more milk to try and make this um lasagna white sauce again <laughs> um but can i just say before i go anywhere why am i so red that's not what i meant to say but hang on. oh that's better so that was incredible like i really really had so much fun there um I'll tell you what it is a workout on your arms though um but i think it would be brilliant for like a birthday party hen party stag party whatever um just for something a bit different um yeah thank you so much to team sport for sponsoring that section of the video um i had so much fun and yeah i wasn't too bad either if i do say so myself um but yeah so i'm just gonna um grab some milk now and then pick up my boyfriend and then we're just gonna go home so I just, I just want them to know that I'm the one that's cooking. Oh, you're just the one that's cooking. Just in right. case, just in case this is gonna get to the. I need this part where I'm cooking this part. Uh -huh. Even if you don't put any other parts in, <laughs> my hand. I need to give me credit, okay? <laughs> I'm cooking the food right You've now. You've just come and stirred it. Alright, good. That's all. <laughs> you done now, are you? Yeah. Right. I see from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. Oh, you're looking so old. 
Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you 